because the giraffe has so many uh, intricate design features, engineers have been interested to look at it to see if they can be inspired to produce better engineering. And in fact, NASA have looked at the skin of a giraffe because a giraffe has very tight skin. Because it has a powerful heart and high blood pressure, it needs tight skin, a little bit like uh, compression socks. And NASA have looked at the skin of the giraffe to inspire better spacesuits because uh, astronauts need tight spacesuits in space for the, for the good of their blood flow. So giraffes have inspired uh, NASA designers. People have asked me, how does the level of engineering in nature compared to the level of engineering in human technology? It's a really important question because evolution predicts that design in nature should be inferior to human technology. The reason for that is that evolution is restricted to step-by-step -step change, so it can't produce irreducible mechanisms, and so nature should be inferior to man-made technology. But what we actually find is that design in nature is superior to the level of design in human technology, and that's a great enigma to the evolutionist. But it's not a surprise to those who believe in intelligent design, because if you believe in intelligent design, you would expect the level of engineering in nature to be superior to human technology, because if there's a creator, he'll be wiser than any human designer.